Hey everybody, how's it going? Connor here today at eTrailer.com. We're going to be taking a look at the Draw Tight Class 5 trailer hitch receiver here for our 2018 Chevrolet Express fan. So this trailer hitch here is going to be an excellent option for our Express fan. We're going to have the larger 2 inch receiver tube opening which is going to allow us to tow pretty much any trailer. It's also going to be used for bike racks and cargo carriers. Now because of this larger 2 inch receiver tube opening, we're going to have a great selection to choose from. Now this is definitely going to be one of the beefier trailer hitch options here for our express fan. This class 5 rating is going to provide us with a 10,000 pound gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount we can pull outward on the receiver tube opening. This is also going to provide us with a 1,500 pound tongue weight rating, which is going to be the downward force on the receiver tube. Now it is rated for use with a weight distribution system, however if we use one of these our capacities are going to drop a little bit to 13,000 pounds gross trailer weight rating and 1,300 pounds for tongue weight rating. So if we take a look on the side of our receiver tube, it's actually welded to both the hitch body and the receiver tube, we're going to have these extremely beefy safety chain tabs. Now these are going to be great if we have the larger style clevis hooks such as you see here. However, if need be, they'll also work with our smaller S type hooks as well. So something that draw tight does with their trailer hitches is what, is what I really like is if you take a look at the side here, you're going to see two pinholes here. We're going to have the larger 5 8 inch diameter hitch pinhole as well as a smaller hole here. Now what this is going to be used for, it's going to be designed specifically for the J-pin stabilization device which is sold separately here through e-trailer. Now how this works is we're going to take the larger hitch pin in and just stick it through the standard hitch pinhole. And this smaller end here is actually going to align with this other hole. And basically what this does is, once we have it inserted, it's going to put pressure inward on our ball mount. And it's going to stop it from rattling around and making all that noise. And in order to finish this out, we're going to have a nut that goes on the other side to secure it, as well as our lock core here to provide an extra measure of security. So if we don't want to use a J-pin stabilization device, that's totally fine. This will still work with a standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin and clip, which is also going to be sold separately here through e-trailer. Now we have a couple measurements here for you that are going to help when you're selecting your hitch mounted accessories, such as a ball mount or a bike rack slash cargo carrier. Now the first measurement we have here is the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. That's going to be right at 16, or that's going to be right at 18 inches actually. And the other measurement we have here is going to be the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole outward to the edge of the bumper. And that's going to be right about 4 inches. Now these measurements are going to be particularly useful. The distance from the ground to the top inside edge would be used for our ball mount. We're selecting our ball mount rise and drop so we make sure we get the correct one for our trailer. In regards to the bumper measurement, this is going to be most useful when we're selecting our folding accessories such as a bike rack or cargo carrier so we can make sure in the folded position that it doesn't come into contact with our vehicle. So to begin our installation here, we want to come under the vehicle here and we need to locate the holes we're going to be using to secure the trailer hitch to the frame. Now there's going to be four holes on the bottom of each side. We're going to have one here, one here, and then two back here. Now we're actually going to need to enlarge these holes slightly in order to be able to slip our 9 16 inch hardware through there. So in order to do this, we're going to need a 9 16 inch drill bit and we just have to drill the four hole, we just have to enlarge the four holes on the bottom of the frame here on each side. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we have the first one drilled, we can go ahead and repeat this process on the other holes. So now there's still a few more things we need to do before we go ahead and set the hitch into position. Number one, we're going to take one of our bolts here and just make sure it passes through each of the holes. So it looks like we're good there. The other thing we're going to want to do is, now this step is optional, it's not required, but I want to go ahead and clean up these holes a little bit, get some of the rough edges off. So I'm going to be taking a burr bit here, um, you probably don't have one of these at home, you may just have some sandpaper you can use, but essentially we're just going to go in and we're just going to clean up these holes here. And then once we're done cleaning them up, we're going to take a paint marker whatever you have, some spray paint, we're just going to clear the bare metal so we don't have to worry about any rust issues. So let's go ahead and do that now.
Now that we have all the holes cleaned out, as we said, we're gonna come back here with a paint marker, some spray paint, whatever you have. We're just gonna try to coat the bare edges of that metal there that we just exposed. So now, once we have all our holes prepped, we can go ahead and set all our hardware into position. Now the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, we're gonna to wanna to grab this L-shaped block here. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that the long end is pointed up. And essentially what this is gonna do is, we're gonna install this, it's sort of a brace for the inside of the frame. So we're gonna insert this through the access hole here. There's gonna be an oblong bolt hole at the top, which that's gonna match up with perfectly. And then we're also gonna have our bottom hole there. Once we have that little L-shaped spacer bracket into position, we wanna take our 9 16 inch hardware here. We're gonna need two bolts for this, both with a flash washer attached. We're just gonna go ahead and set those into position. Just like that. So now we have three more holes we need to insert hardware into. The second one back, we're gonna be using the smaller square spacer block along with our uh, 9 16 inch bolt we've been using. We're gonna place that like so. And then for the final two holes, we're actually gonna have a double hold spacer block here. That we're gonna insert our hardware into like that and just stick that right into position. And there we go. Now we can repeat that process on the other side. So now that we have all of our bolts into position, we can go ahead and set the hitch up onto the vehicle. But before we do so, we're just gonna quickly show you how we secure the bolts to the trailer hitch. We're gonna be using a hex nut here, followed by a lock washer, followed by a flat washer. So we're gonna have a combination of three parts on each of these five bolts here. So now that we have an extra set of helping hands, we can go ahead and set the hitch up into position on the vehicle. We just need to get a couple threads started to hold it in place. So now we're gonna go ahead and snug up all our nuts here. We're gonna be using a 24 millimeter socket for the nut here. In the head of the bolt, you have a few different options. We're just gonna grab a 13 16. So now that we have all our fasteners tugged up, we're gonna come back with our 24 millimeter socket we're gonna to torque everything down. Now you may or may not need to grab the bolt head inside the frame while it's turning. We can just check to make sure it torques down. So now we can just go ahead and repeat this on the rest of our fasteners. So now that we have everything torqued down, that's gonna complete our look and installation of the Draw Tight Class 5 trailer hitch here for our 2018 Chevrolet Express fan.